Hello guys, welcome to our class and our topic for this day is about Introduction to Dart Programming. Dart is a modern general purpose programming language originally developed by Google, designed by Lars Bach and Casper Lang. Dart is a new programming language that appeared first time in 2007 and its latest stable version is released in June 2017. Not many people know about Dart. The significant growth of Flutter made it more popular. Dart is an open source programming language not only used for developing mobile applications, but it is approved as a standard by ECMA and is used to build web, server, desktop, mobile applications, and the Internet of Things or IoT devices. The Dart compiler comes with its own virtual machine which allows Dart programs to run on an every system. When Dart is used in web applications, there is a Dart2.js compiler which transpiles Dart code into optimized JavaScript code so it runs on all modern web browsers. Dart is an object-oriented, class-based, optionally typed programming language and it also supports mix in base inheritance. Syntactically, it looks quite similar to Java, which makes it easy to learn if you prefer Java as programming language. Likewise, Java, it also has a final keyword, string class, object class, extends keyword, and many more. The Dart compiler also shows a warning and error like any other structured programming language. Why Dart? Dart is cross-platform and supports all major operating systems. It is open source and available with a BSD license. It is recognized as an ECMA standard. Dart is very stable and it can be used to build production quality real-time applications. It is an object-oriented programming language with support for inheritance, interfaces, and optional typing features. The Dart code can be transcompiled into JavaScript using source-to-source -source compilation. There is a Dart2.js compiler which transpiles Dart code into optimized JavaScript code that runs on all modern web browsers. The Dart Software Development Kit or SDK ships with a standalone Dart virtual machine, allowing Dart code to run in a command line interface environment. Dart can also be executed in AOT mode. AOT stands for Ahead of Time Compilation. In this mode, the Dart code can be directly converted into native machine code. Below is an example code of a Dart program that prints Dart language is easy to learn. Let's examine each and every part of the program above. Number one, the first statement is comments. This is comment statements being used to provide information about the program we created. Number two, main function. It is the entry point of our program from where the program execution begins. It is special, required, top level function where execution of program begins. Number three, the print function. The print function is used to output or display the content between double quotes to a screen. The print method is similar to per Java or any other language. So, in our previous video, we created an Hello World application that prints Hello World. So, in here, the print statement display Dart language is easy. To learn. Data types. Variable is name, storage, location, and data type simply refers to the type and size of data associated with variables and functions. There are five data types available in Dart programming language. The integer, double, boolean, string, and dynamic. So in our example, x is defined as integer with a value of 10. Y is defined as double with a value of 
2.0. Z is defined as Boolean with a value of true. Take note, in Boolean, there are only two values which is true or false. S is defined as string with a value of hello. So, string variable is initialized with double quotation. Just like in our example, hello is enclosed with double quotation. And lastly, dynamic D. So, dynamic variables can change types at any time. So, for example, D is set with the value of X. X is integer. So, the data type of D becomes integer. And in our second statement, D is set to Y. So, the value of D becomes double since Y is has a data type of double. Then for our last statement, D is equal to Z. Z is Boolean, so the data type of D becomes Boolean since the data type of C is Boolean. Arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponent, and etc. For the addition, the operator used is plus sign. For the subtraction, the operator used is dash. For the multiplication, the operator used is asterisk. For the division, the operator used is slash and tilde slash. So there are two operators used in the division. The first operator is the regular division. The other one is it forces the result to become an integer or it returns an integer result. And lastly, modulus returns remainder after division. So it display or it returns the remainder of a division. So in our next video, we will create an application applying the concept of data types and arithmetic operations. So thank you and God bless.